Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a very special guest. This is my mother. Hello. Also known as Ma and Ma. Mama and my pretty. My pretty. You're my pretty. You're my pretty. I love you more. I love you. Um, today we are doing this makeup look. It's pretty natural. Um, would you say every day or more of an evening yeah, look? No, I'd wear this going shopping or work and it's quick and easy and it's beautifying. I feel fresh. And how much makeup do you normally wear? <laughs> the, the mother of the beauty blogger wears no makeup at all. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do then don't forget to hit subscribe and I hope you enjoy. Just a really quick cleanse with some simple micellar water. Remove any oils or or other skincare on the skin. It's so beautiful, Treatment. so relaxing. Onto moisturizer, and I'm using the, the Dermalogica Super Rich Repair. So this one is designed for chronically dry skin, um, much like yours, mum. Or if perhaps you're going to a really harsh climate like the snow or the desert. And I've chosen this one today because it's really occlusive and it really hydrates the skin. So it's good if you like have really, really dry skin like you, mm -hmm. but it doesn't create too much slip under the makeup that's gonna cause it to kind of move around because that's not something we want for makeup. It's wonderful. Oh my God, that's nice. Mm. <laughs> I've got to sleep. This is important, mum. Every day, SPF. Especially with the blotches that I'm getting, I should be, um... Everyone in our family is what? prone to pigmentation. Yeah. We should be extra careful about the sun. Mm. Um, mustn't forget the ears or the neck, all of your exposed areas, your hands as well. Um, now we're going to give your skincare about like five minutes just to settle into the skin because right now it's looking a little bit dewy and we kind of want it to absorb a bit before we put any foundation on. For primer today, let's go with the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer. I think this is quite a nice pick for, for more mature skin types. Yeah, I, I don't have big pores there, do I? This is not for pores, this one. This one is actually more for like dry texture and it's hydrating and it's... Oh, good. I feel it's nice. So you've got a little bit of dry texture here. I noticed that. That's, That'll that's, help. Yeah. For foundation, um, let's go a little bit of throwback to the Armani Lasting Silk. I've heard rumours that they're discontinuing this one and that would make me really, really sad uh, because it is such a beautiful formula. It's got a very thin consistency and then it sets in a way that doesn't settle into lines or creases. So I'm just going to pat this, mostly focusing on the centre of the face here and then pressing into the skin with a beauty blender. Mum, you don't, you don't need much foundation. You have a really nice skin though. Oh, thank you so much. And I've taken the clean side of the Beauty Blender here, just over any areas where you might have some lines. Um, and this will pick up any excess product so it's less likely to crease and settle. A bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer, love this. It's got a very thin formula and it's quite forgiving. I don't want to, I don't want to put too much concealer under your eyes because I think that's a surefire way to just get creasy. Get creasy. Yeah, actually, I think less is more in this case. I'm just going to pop a little bit here where your foundation doesn't want to cover. You don't want it. Uh, you don't want it collecting in the in the fine lines. Yeah, in the fine lines. So you're right. It's. I think if you're doing it just for a shoot event, sh event, you know, then and there, it doesn't matter because you know you're just expecting it to last for, you know, ten minutes or something. But if you want it long lasting. Totally. If I was doing this for in the primary purpose that we were just taking a photo of you and this was not meant to be real life at all, yes. then I would put more makeup on you. Look exactly. Up. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finishing Powder. This is super fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to look up and then I'm going to pat out the creases and really quickly set it. Mm. Then we're going to take off most of the powder on the back of my hand because too much powder, no go. And then I'm also going to set your eyelid. Close your eyes for me. So what are you doing when you're setting? Powder, essentially, it's, you're a scientist, you would know this. It just absorbs oils. Okay, I understood that. <laughs> so does that mean when, when I finish this, I can go and play table tennis? Because it's all... Yeah, you can play table tennis after this. All right, let's put on a blush. I like are this one. Are you going to plump up my lips? Oh, you want the lip plumper, do you? I want the lip plumper. <laughs> this might hurt. <laughs> oh. It's interesting though because it doesn't really hurt me, but I know some people that say that this burns like insane. 
Blush. Okay, onto blush. I adore the YSL um, Kiss and Blush thingy, my Bobby. When when I do charity events, I always pack this one in the kit because the formula is absolutely foolproof, and they do a lot of really nice shades um, for all different skin tones. Love it. Sits close to the skin so that it doesn't look powdery. No, you're not. You're not an old mum. Not old, old, but not young, young either. You're not you know, young, young, not old. I'm old. sort of, uh, I'm relevant in this day and age. I think. Well, you know, most of the ladies are having their kids in their thirties. That's exactly it. You know what? When I was younger, I thought that by the age of twenty-five, I would have two kids, a house, and and then the, as I approached that age, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> when you were sixteen, like twenty-four, seems to be like the age where you should have everything done. When you're twenty-four, you kind of think, oh, where did the time go? Oh, mum, you look flawless. Uh, shall we do your brows? Nice? Yes. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil. It's got a kind of a large nib and then the product itself is quite hard. So you always get a little bit of a softer effect with this one. I feel like it's defined my eyebrow without being too dark. Yeah, it's soft enough for you, yeah. like your brows a bit softer. Mm -hmm. That's really nice actually. Well, I think since all your features have seemed to have gotten lighter, it makes sense that you would go for a, a lighter brow pencil here. Well, it seems to me like my mum, when as she's aging, all her features are becoming lighter. So, yeah. like while she used to have black eyebrows when she was really young, she can't carry them off anymore. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of my fave Surat Brow Pomade. This won't add any extra colour, it just adds uh, some extra hold and a bit of extra texture. I love the Rouge Bunny Rouge Cream eyeshadows. So I'm just swirling a deeper shade onto the outer half of the eye, kind of the outer V, keeping all those edges really soft. And then particularly with hooded um, eye shapes, looking straight ahead for me, um, we'll always do the final touches and refine that eyeshadow placement when the eye is open and looking straight ahead. Now we're gonna do that thing that you love, mum. We're gonna put a little bit of light underneath the brow. I don't know if it's my era, that, you know, because it's what we used or... Maybe. Cause I think you have quite a prominent brow bone. It's not something that I would normally do, but if you like I it, then that's, it. I love it. that's all that matters then. I love it. We're going to do a highlight now. We'll take a bit of our Laura Mercier rose gold. Now, if you look straight ahead, I can see what part of your mobile lid is visible when you're looking straight ahead. We're just going to take this really close to the lash line and kind of feathering into that darker colour and then just using a bit of a finger to mesh them. And I think like uh, there'll be a lot of people who say that maybe more mature skin types or people who are concerned about showing like lines and wrinkles shouldn't use uh, shimmers at all mm -hmm. because they tend to reflect light. I probably wouldn't use like frost from the lash line to the brow bone, but I think a little bit of shimmer, I think it's nice. I like it. I like the shimmer. I you like, like shimmer, right? I do. Can I love it. Me? I think if you're strategic about it, I think shimmer is actually quite nice. I love it. I think it's lifted up the makeup. All right, so I just want a little bit more definition around the eyes, so I'm going to tight line. Now, Mum often has problems with eye products migrating underneath the eyes, so I'm using the Makeup Geek Gel Liner, which is absolutely indelible. You look nice, Mum. You're looking oh, good. I know. It's it's all coming together. We're going to pop on a bit of mascara on the upper lashes. Um, if you're looking for a really long wearing option that doesn't smudge, the MAC Extended Play, awesome stuff. So a little birdie told me that mum wants to try out some false lashes, so I'm just going to pop on a few uh, short individuals. <laughs> I think you like it when I break rules. I do. I always have. <laughs> you're always, you're always telling me you're always so good. Break the rules. Because you're such a goody two shoes. <laughs> <laughs> How did I come to be this way? You raised me. I don't know. It was not by design. <laughs> We're going to do mascara. We're going to finish off the mascara after we do the lips. Mm -hmm. So we'll do our lip liner first because I know I you're a dark one. You want a dark lip liner? I want a darker one. I want something that shows my lip and then light. Let's feel. start with this and then if you want more, we can have more. I want contour. Give me a highlight. Just a bit of powder. <laughs> Give it to me. You're the most difficult client I've ever had. 
You just want more, don't you? Mm. Okay. You know my style, though, Mum. My style is is understated. Yeah, but that's not me. <laughs> Too pink, she says. All so right. much pink. Iconic nude, then. Let's do a little bit of this. If that was after me, I would have burgundy around. Really dark, dark. What are you, Pamela Anderson? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look, I've overlined your lips more than I ever intended to, so you better like this. <laughs> you like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're eating it. Do you want me to put a bit of gloss on it? Your mother, who never wears makeup, will have everything. I, have... <laughs> I never wear makeup, but today I want you to put on everything. And then this will give you an extra... Mm. How? Extra bit of pain, I was going to say. <laughs> Palette's pain, same thing. I'm just binding the false and... The real eyelashes here. Look up. Some finishing touches. I'm going to add some nude eyeliner to the lower waterline. Really opens up the eyes, gives a really fresh and awake look. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on your lower lashes because only because I know you love that. Look up. Just a tiny bit of dark eyeshadow to tie in the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do too much because it'll just migrate. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, yeah, please um, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, hit the notification video and like the video and leave all nice comments. <laughs> Come say hello to me on Instagram. Come and say hello to Karima on Instagram because she'd love to chat to you there. Because she'd love to chat to you there. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we will speak to you all very Bye. soon. Bye. Do you remember when I encouraged you to wear the wrong uniform to school? Yeah. I wore the wrong pants to school for like six months and I spent, you know what, because I'm such a goody two-shoes, I spent six months running away from teachers. <laughs> it's not a good monitor. I know you told me to replace it, but I didn't. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the, the sigh of a mother. Is there anything that you would like to, any wisdom you would like to pass on to YouTube? Be good to your mother.